Till now, we have discussed that a changing magnetic flux induces electric current. But the question that remains unanswered is why does a changing magnetic field affect electric charges? Well, we have mentioned in the previous chapter that as per Maxwell's equations, a changing electric field produces magnetic field. And a changing magnetic field produces electric field. So, whenever we have a situation where magnetic field is changing, an electric field is induced in space. And it is this induced electric field that affects the electric charge and produces an induced electric current. Note that induced electric field does not depend on the presence of a conducting ring or coil. Even if there is no coil, electric field is induced in space because of the changing magnetic field. This induced electric field is similar to the electrostatic field produced by electric charges in a way that a charge placed in them experiences the electric force given by the same expression. However, there is one fundamental difference between the induced electric field and electrostatic field. Electrostatic fields never form closed loops. Whereas induced electric fields form closed loops which are symmetric with respect to the center of magnetic field. Let us consider a case where there is a magnetic field in a cylindrical region. As long as the magnetic field does not change, there is no induced electric field. However, if the magnetic field starts to increase, an electric field is induced in space, which forms circles around the center of magnetic field. Direction of induced electric field is similar to the direction of induced current in a coil placed in this magnetic field. So, for an increasing magnetic field in this direction, induced electric field will be as shown. And for a decreasing magnetic field, Induced electric field will be as shown. Now, if we place a conducting coil in a changing magnetic field, then because of the induced electric field, charges in coil experience an electric force and thus a current is established in the coil. Note that if we place a disc 
instead of the coil. Then though, electrons are free to move anywhere in the disk. But they still follow somewhat concentric circular paths. As if they are trapped inside a whirlpool or an eddy. Such a current is called an eddy current. It is often used to achieve magnetic levitation. This happens because the magnetic field produced by the eddy current in the disk repels the magnetic field of source. 